time management something that not a lot of people are very good at and apparently I'm not very good at either yesterday I was meant to record a video about uh, Lego on Crack Microbe um, but I didn't do that so today I'm gonna do a video on time management for this channel and then quickly do one for yesterday's Crack Microbe video thought that was just a good intro um, so what's going on everyone I'm back as you should be surprised, you know. It's been a whole day since I spoke to you last, I guess. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about time management. Uh, when I did the video, talking about what videos you want to see. Time management was something, and I think that is kind of a good idea uh, for a lot of people. I know a lot of people aren't very good with time management. Um, it's something that I would like to think I'm um, good at and you know I like to plan everything out and all of that um, but it's something that I know a lot of people struggle with and that's why I'm doing this video um, to kind of help you guys and understand how I usually am good with time management um, ignoring yesterday's video <clears throat> um, but yeah in all seriousness um, firstly how do you have good time management and like timekeeping and stuff pretty much just have a plan for your day um, you know it's not something that you can really do without a plan you know it, it is pretty much just planning your day properly um, usually at the weekends I like to spend an evening uh, possibly just planning out my week like in my head um, I don't always stick to the plan you know make a plan execute the plan make expect the plan to go off the rails and then throw away the plan you know do a Leonard snart from the flash that's usually how my week goes but it's something that definitely helps to have a rough idea of what you want to do that day that week that month whatever um, now the way that I like to do this is um, set alarms. <laughs> like um, sometimes, if it's something that I usually don't have to do, wasp. Um, yeah, if there's something that I usually don't have to do that I do have to do for some reason, and I think I might forget it, I just set an alarm for it. Um, you know, as I said, create the plan for the day so you know roughly how long you're going to spend on it, or roughly when you want to start it. And that's pretty much it, just setting yourself a bunch of alarms. Um, I have two YouTube specific ones. Um, one happens every day um, for this channel, and then I have another one every Friday, uh, which for some reason I just completely ignored, um, for my other channel, Carty Micro. And I feel like it definitely helps. Like, even if the alarm doesn't go off, my phone gives you like an hour warning before it happens um, so I usually have time to make the video um, and edit it and stuff uh, by the time the alarm's gone off if I haven't done it before then you know I usually just do it as soon as possible and that's another thing doing things as soon as possible definitely helps with time management um, you know I usually don't have to use the alarms uh, I usually just wake up and then have breakfast, do my morning routine and then go and record a video um, obviously certain things happen throughout the days you know I have something that I need to be doing and then I'll have to use the alarm as a reminder but yeah that's definitely my main point now not putting things off is also something very useful um, you know you don't want to be putting off what you can do now if you understand what I mean like uh, if you can go out and record that video do it when you can not when it's because you're tired you know you're probably gonna be tired next time you're never gonna be completely wanting to do it if it's something you don't want to do all I'm trying to say is don't put off until tomorrow what can be done today that saying um, 
And that's something that I try to stick to. Obviously, I don't always stick to it. Sometimes I'm a bit lazy um, and can't be bothered, and that's okay. You know, that's another thing, is just knowing that you're human. Sometimes you're not going to be that great at it. Um, and just kind of accepting that sometimes you're not going to be that good at it. But these are just some tips, you know, at getting better at it. Now, I think one final thing that I want to talk about on this topic is just kind of like how I time keep and like balance everything as well. It's finding a good balance between everything. Um, you know, I have to usually balance my personal life, my YouTube life, and my college life, or like my professional life, I guess. And I have them set out in different priorities. Now, the way that I do it isn't very healthy, you know, it's not a very good thing to be doing, uh, but my priorities are college first, then YouTube, and then personal time. And that's because I see YouTube as my job, although I don't get paid for it. It's something that I hope to get paid for, and it's like every video I do is a job application, is how I treat it. Obviously, this could be replaced with whatever hobbies you have or other commitments. So yeah, YouTube is one of my big commitments, it's like a job, and I think that's the way that I think I should be balancing everything. You guys may have a different idea. Um, so my usual schedule is college first thing, you know, well no, first it's uh, my personal time, you know, I wake up, do everything that I want to do, uh, get dressed, all of that stuff, have breakfast, just chill on my phone, and then go to college, pardon me, and then go to college, um, and, and do my work day uh, there, well not really my work day, but do my work at college, and then try and do as much as I can. And then, in the afternoons, I record, edit, do all of that YouTube stuff. Why do you have to start strumming the minute that I'm recording? Just wait, like, five minutes, for God's sake. So, um... Yeah, definitely... For me, it goes personal time, college, if I have some extra work that I need to do for college, I will probably do it in the afternoon of that day um, before working on a YouTube video and then I'll do the YouTube video and then, you know, if I have any leftover time, whether that's in my bed, just relaxing on my phone for an hour, two hours, three hours, and no sleep at all, um, you know, I think that's something that I do, um, which I don't know how healthy it is, I don't know how good it is, but it's what I do. Um, so yeah, I think just finding yourself a good balance with everything is very important. Um, you don't want to be putting too much time into your college life, you know, it is very important, but also making sure that you're happy in what you're doing. Now, the reason that I prioritise YouTube over myself, um, is just because it's my job, I guess. You know, I don't get paid for it, as I said, but if I fail to upload a video, then I feel like I've let myself down, which will then mess up my personal time, as well as, you know, risk me not doing that video that gets millions of views and all of that. So I think it's just down to everyone's personal uh, opinions on things. Now, I've kind of spoken to you guys a lot about all of this stuff, you know, setting out your schedules, setting alarms, and just finding yourself that balance. But I want to know what you guys do, you know? I've spoken as well about my balance and scheduling, but do you guys have any tips? Do you guys have any balancing things? You know? I want to know. Do you guys have that same thing? Um, so yeah, leave a comment. Just to recap though real quick. Um, just the like four main things that I do, five main things, is don't put anything off if you can do it, uh, just do it. Uh, make sure that you have a balance between everything, you know, you don't want to be working yourself too hard in one area or not working yourself enough in another. Um, setting alarms is always really helpful. And then finally, 
just accept that you have your limitations and that you might not be able to do everything. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, don't really know what to talk about now. So I'm going to end this video here. Uh, if you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, all of that stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and goodbye.